How do banks make money on exchange rates? Banks are the largest dealers of foreign exchange globally. But how do they profit from transacting in foreign exchange? Simply, by buying at a low price from one customer and selling at a high price to another customer. This is called the bid-ask spread. Exchange rates are quoted in bid-ask terms. For example, let us say the US dollar Thai bot exchange rate is 31.3. If a person wants to buy Thai bot in exchange for the US dollars that she has, the bank will sell the Thai bot to her at, say, 31 Thai bot per US dollar. So, she pays one US dollar to the bank and gets 31 Thai bot. On the other hand, let us say another customer of the bank wants to sell his Thai bot and buy one US dollar. The bank will pay him the one US dollar that it received from the earliest transaction, but charge him 31.6 Thai bot. In summary, the bank paid 31 Thai baht and collected 31.6 Thai baht, making a cool profit of 0.6 Thai baht in the process. In this case, 31 is the bid price. It is the price at which the bank dealer is willing to bid for the product the customer is selling, in this case, US dollars. 31.6 is the ask price. It is the price that the bank dealer is asking from the customer for the product that he is purchasing, in this case, US dollars. And finally, 31.3 is the actual exchange rate, often called the midpoint exchange rate. The foreign exchange market always quotes currencies in pairs. For example, AUD to USD, USD to SGD, or EUR to USD. Let us take the USD to SGD as an example. The currency quoted first is called the base currency. Think of this as a product, like an ice cream. The currency quoted second is called the quote currency. Think of this as the price of the ice cream. So, when the markets quote USD to SGD to be 1.35, it means that the price of one US dollar is 1.35 Singapore dollars. In other words, it will cost you 1.35 Singapore dollars to buy one USD, or conversely, you will get 1.35 Singapore dollars for one US dollar that you sell. The foreign exchange market is the largest in size in the world and trades continuously 24-7. It is said that globally, approximately $2 trillion of spot foreign exchange gets traded daily. That's why foreign exchange is a very lucrative business for banks.